to me my channel we have made it to toronto i actually got here like a couple hours ago but i just wanted to relax in my hotel a little bit before i got ready again to go back out i'm going to a baseball game tonight and honestly i don't like particularly care about baseball but i do like watching any sport no matter what it is live and i've always wanted to go to like a professional league game so i figured while i'm here might as well go to a blue jays game this is actually my very first time ever being in toronto well actually that's a lie because i've been here before i guess when we moved to canada you have to go through like toronto airport but i've never like actually been here long enough to remember what it's like. I'm only gonna be here for basically only one full day. Today I got here around two o'clock and then I'm gonna be here tomorrow and leaving on Sunday morning. So it's a very short trip, but I feel like because Montreal and Toronto are so close, it's not that big of a deal. Like I can always come back. It's not like when I lived in Nova Scotia and plane tickets to anywhere were so expensive. I also took the bus. I don't see the point of like flying into Toronto from Montreal. I feel like that's kind of stupid and unnecessary. It was a long trip, but no different than when I went to Halifax. I don't have any other plans for today. All I'm doing is going to a baseball game. I did go to a cafe when I got here and I went to go see like the Next Step building, which is what I showed at the start of the video. I feel like if you've watched the show or like grew up watching the show, you knew like as soon as I showed it. I don't think I'm gonna be hungry enough to like go out to dinner or something. Plus, I don't have like a dinner outfit. I didn't pack anything crazy. I think, I don't even know who they're playing. Minnesota something. So if this is like an important game, I don't really know. I don't follow baseball like whatsoever. It's not like basketball where I sort of kind of know what's going on. Like I played basketball, so I like know the rules and all this stuff. I know like what teams are good. Not really anymore, but I used to. Like I could follow basketball blindly. But baseball, not really. If I would have came here like in the winter, I 100% would have gone to an NBA game. I feel like what I have planned for tonight are actually perfect first night vibes for someone like me because it won't be too overwhelming. Like I won't feel like I'm doing too much too quickly, which is kind of like my problem when I plan trips. That's what I do. I'll like pack stuff in and feel like I need to do everything at once. 2022 me would be gagged at the fact that literally here right now because she threw an entire tantrum about not being able to move here i'm not sure what it is but doing your makeup on a trip is so much easier and quicker than doing it at home Ooh, this lip combo turned out a lot prettier than i thought it was gonna be trying to give you guys a fit check before i go really like i said it's nothing special i just brought comfy clothes weather is unpredictable in canadian spring like it's not even supposed to be really nice out while i'm here it's supposed to be like cloudy and then rainy so trench coat overalls i feel like overalls goes with the baseball vibe tank top red sambas i'm gonna take off the elastic band obviously my edges are just melting right now but i do think it does give like baseball vibes but a little bit chic i need to head out soon because it's like maybe like 20 something minute walk, which isn't long, but because I've never been here, I would rather just like go earlier because me and Google Maps are not friends. Like at this point now we're acquaintances, we're no longer enemies, but we're not friends. Gates open at like 5.30 and the game starts at seven. So I feel like 6.30ish is a good bet to go. I'm so excited for the food. Like I am going because I want just a baseball game hot dog. I've been dreaming about it. And if it doesn't live up to my dreams, then Whatever, it's it's a hot dog. Miranda was a huge fan of the Yankees. I was a huge fan of being anywhere you could smoke and drink at two in the afternoon without judgment. Sometimes I feel like I give off very intimidating, don't talk to me, don't look at me vibes. And then other times I think I'm giving very open aura. I want to be spoken to. I want to meet new people. At the baseball game, I ended up sitting in the wrong seat by accident. And like I had to move because the guy that was supposed to have the seat kind of made a big deal out of it, even though he could have just literally sat somewhere else because the game wasn't sold out. But he did pay for the seat. So like, of course I got up and I went to go sit in my right seat and somebody else was in mine and I was like, it is just not that deep. I don't want to bother them. They were like an older man and I was like, whatever. He probably didn't know. He probably was an accent just like me. So like, whatever. I also didn't want to like climb over a bunch of guys that were like 
they looked like they were in their 20s like that is my worst nightmare i sat down by this older guy was just watching the game minding my business and he started striking up a conversation with me taught me a little bit about baseball we talked about toronto all that stuff he was so sweet for the last i think 40 minutes of the baseball game i had a little baseball bestie like he was so nice and then when i was getting up to leave i went to like the other side and he went this way i turned around just really quick to like look around and he was there and he was like waving by at me i was like that was so cute i waved by i I actually love talking to people a lot more than I think I come across like I think I don't like being inconvenienced when I really just like want to be by myself but that was fun good morning guys it is day two and typically on the second day whenever I go anywhere I fill it with shopping I'm actually getting like a pretty late start to my day for me I'm going out to brunch first at 12 and that's because I learned my lesson from when I visited Montreal I did literally everything at like nine o'clock and then my day was finished by one so I didn't really want to do that and plus all the vintage stores that I want to go to are opened at 11 so it's like I might as well just like go eat first then go vintage shopping all of that stuff I'm excited because I'm gonna go to Kensington Market not specifically for like thrifting I just want to like look there but then I have like specific thrift stores I want to go to I also I also want to go to Armed Jewelry, I think it's called, because I want to make like a cute charm necklace. You guys know I've been talking about wanting a charm necklace for the longest time in like my fashion trends videos. I'm going to walk to the brunch place. I'm going to Old School and it's decently far from where I'm staying, but I don't feel like stressing myself out with figuring out Toronto's transit system. By the sounds of it and like everyone that I know in Toronto complaining about it, <laughs> like I don't feel like doing that. I also forgot to show you guys yesterday at the game they gave out these little bucket hats for the Blue Jays. Am I ever going to wear it? Absolutely not but I'm gonna keep it as a cute little memento. if it isn't i have literally been out since like 11 o'clock today whenever like the last time i actually like spoke and vlogged was right before i left i went out to brunch with my friend and then we went around like kensington and all of that stuff i actually ended up taking the streetcar with him because he was like girl i'm not walking like i don't i, I still don't even know how to take it i kind of was just like being led on it and i don't remember how it even works basically the entire time that i've been here i haven't ubered or taken the streetcar like metro or subway i think they call it here one time and that's because like it's just like nice out and i like to walk and i swear i walked probably like three plus hours today alone my feet actually really did start to hurt but it's okay i did quite a bit of shopping today and i did like vlog some of it and then by the time that i got i think to like valley village i was super tired <laughs> of vlogging but anyways nonetheless i'm going to show you what i got i guess i'll just start with clothes it'll be a little bit out of order i obviously went to levi's and i just got a pair of black jeans these are 90s 501s they're like the mid-rise ones i really like them and i also like that they're legit black i don't like when they'll say it's black and it's a little bit gray like i don't mind denim like that but then like just don't call it black and then i tried this other pair on that when i was trying it on i didn't love them but then i looked at a picture it was like their low-rise wide jeans they were a lot cuter than i thought but like they 
were pretty expensive for me to buy them and like not even really love them so i'm glad that i got these i've been wanting just like a staple like straight cut pair of black jeans then at value village i got two t-shirts like graphic tees because i wanted to start wearing a little bit oversized t-shirts like a skirt or something in the summer so i got both these from the men's section this is the first one and then it also has it on the back i think songs or something i don't know if this is like a band or something or an event who knows but i like it and then coincidentally when i was showing my mom she actually mentioned this i got another top with another car on it. I think this would be cute, my bloomers. At Kensington Market, I got two pairs of sunglasses. I don't know what actual store I went to when I got these, because we were just walking into random ones. How adorable are these? As you guys know, as per my fashion videos, I love a good chunky, chunky frame. This is pair two. They are also another tortoise shell frame. I like these ones as well. From Value Village, I just got some pearls. This little watch that doesn't even work. I wouldn't actually use this watch to tell the time. <laughs> My actual wrist. Saving the best thing for last, I went to Armed Jewelry on Trinity Bellwood, in Trinity Bellwood. And I've been seeing this on TikTok for the longest time. And I think I already explained it to you guys how I wanted to make a charm necklace. I did the one where you can have five charms. This one is Leo for my birthday. Some silver cherries. I thought having a little bit of silver on here would be nice because I'm experimenting with wearing silver. This heart with, I think it kind of looks like a pearl, but then it also just looks like a silver piece. I got the number four, if you can tell, because 444 are my favorite angel numbers and also for my younger sister because she's the fourth child. But lastly, a cute little teddy bear. The store says that these are tarnish free. I haven't had it for long, so I can't like testify to that or anything. Really random side note, apparently Jacob Elordi is in Toronto filming like his new Frankenstein movie. So a lot of people are like trying to stalk him in Trinity Bellwoods, which is hilarious and honestly real. Cute, this was a successful day. Now I'm going to fold up all my stuff, pack up my stuff, so I am ready to leave tomorrow. I was planning on going out for dinner. I was gonna go to the ham, but because I was out all day and I just had Dave's hot chicken, which by the way, definitely lived up to the hype, very delicious. I am not even hungry and I also do not want to go back outside. So for the rest of the evening, I'm going to tidy up, get myself ready for tomorrow, I'll probably edit a little bit of this video and I think maybe watch a movie that's on my watch list potentially or do I want to actually be paying attention to something I I don't know <laughs>